Hello, hello, my fine folks. Today we're gonna to be talking about five reasons why you should get your greasy paws all over a Jaguar F-Type. Now, specifically, some of these reasons will only be for the Jaguar F-Type R. Others will be for the V6 uh, and for the four banger as well. So please stick around, give this a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. I post a lot of content about the cool cars I drive and they're pretty in depth. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started with reason number one. Reason number one, the way it sounds. is so loud that in Australia they actually had to ban the V6 version from coming into the continent and on all the American cars they had to do an update that actually limited the amount of crackles and pops coming out of the exhaust pretty wild one thing I will mention is that I chose this car partly because of its sound if you guys go look up um, any automobile magazine Motor Trend, Car and Driver, any list that has the top 10 V8 sounds, this car will be on it. Alright, reason number two, this one should be a little bit more obvious, it's the way it looks. This car is a 10 out of 10 for me, it has all of the classic elements of a beautiful sports car, and I think a lot of that comes down to who designed it, which is partially why I think it's so beautiful. The designer of this car is Ian Callum who, oh, I don't know if you haven't heard of him, is one of the best designers of all time. Let me name a couple of his other cars. Uh, Ford RS200, yeah, you might not know that one, the Escort, but how about the DB7 or the DB9? Two cars that literally shaped a lot of today's modern Aston looks, Aston Martin looks. So my point is that this car is strikingly beautiful. It's got this incredible dash to axle ratio and what that means is that it, here's the front tire and the dash is set back over here and where you sit in the car where your back actually rests is somewhere around this area just a few inches before you get to that big 295 rear tire the way that the silhouette comes down over the rear how it kind of has this pinched end at the top where it comes back down and back out i mean just beautiful. The way that the, the exhaust canter kind of come up, slightly tipped upward. It's a really, really pretty design. And a lot of cars, you know, it's tough to fabricate, but the lights, the rear tail lights, they come all the way around so they can be seen from the profile of the car and from the rear. So uh, with, with good reason here, I think number two ought to be the way that this thing looks. Okay guys, number three on the list is the powertrain. This is a supercharged V8, five liter from Jaguar Land Rover. It makes 550 horsepower and 502 foot pounds of torque. Now, the reason why it makes number three on this list is because as to my knowledge, this is the only production series, there's a lot of you know titles here, but production series, non-American, supercharged v8 for sale right now and that's important because a supercharger gives you all of the benefits of forced induction like turbos but you also get that natural uh, linear throttle response that you get from a naturally aspirated car so it's it's really the best of both worlds and i think it just fits the personality the persona of the way that this car looks very well so there you have it number three it is the powertrain look at this big old root supercharger Enjoy. Okay guys, number four is the rarity, or rather how unique the car is. Now, I'm gonna use my phone so I don't botch some of these statistics here for you, but I live in Oklahoma, I said it in my other videos, and, and what I think is unique about Oklahoma, being kind of in the Bible Belt of the United States, is how many Mustangs and Corvettes I see on a daily, and I see a lot. So being interested in this statistic i looked up how many corvettes were sold from 2014 to 2019 
And then I also looked up how many Jaguar F-Types were sold from 2014 to 2019. Here are the numbers. Okay, there have been 153,000 Corvettes sold from 14 to 19. In that same years, there have been just 22,000 Jaguar F-Types. Now, if you break that down, for every one Jaguar F-Type, whether it's a V4, V6, V8, doesn't matter, for every one of them, you will see seven Corvettes. That's pretty unique, isn't it? That's partly why I love this car. I mean, it shares a lot in common with this Corvette, but it's very, it's, it's way, way, way more unique. And in my opinion, a little more sexy. Okay, for you number junkies out there, I wanna make one more add-on. I have a 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. Now, what's unique about my car is that in 2015, they only had rear wheel drive. That's important because from 2016 and on, every Jaguar F-Type R, SVR, whatever, they were all all wheel drive. So I was a little bit interested because now I know that whether you have a V6, V8, or a two liter four banger, I know that there's only 22,000 total in that five, six year span. So I'm curious how many F-Types R's with rear wheel drive came to the United States. I looked it up and it's interesting. There are less than a thousand in the United States. Less than a thousand Jaguar F-Type R's. So it's really pretty rare. And there's not an exact number, but a lot of forum members on the Jaguar forums seem to believe that there's less than 800. I think that's really pretty neat, especially because these are so hairy to drive that I'm assuming a good deal of those, not a good deal, but probably 100, maybe 50, are probably crashed. So down the road, I'm not talking now, but I'm saying maybe 20 years from now, this might be a sought after car. Mark my words. Okay, reason number five, this car is a bargain. Now, specifically, I'm referring to the cars on the second hand market, the used market. If you do buy the car new, it's gonna depreciate characteristic like of any 100,000 plus sports coupe. It'll lose about 30, uh, maybe even 40% within three to four years. And that's characteristic like of the market. So that's okay, we can forgive it. Now, on the used market, however, it is a complete bargain. Think about this car. Let's talk about the 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. This you can find all day long for 45 to 50 grand, very low miles, and the cars that it competes against are the AMG GT, GTS, the 911 GT, GT, I mean 911 GTS, or the Carrera S. Those are serious performance cars that haven't dipped below, you know, 80 grand um, for, for the newer models like this. However, you can pick this up for 45 grand and it's got all the thrill, all the drama. That's a bargain, complete bargain. Now let's talk about the V6, okay? The V6, it's very powerful, up to 400 horsepower. It sounds incredible for a V6. And if you think about the cars that it tries to compete against, we're looking at like a BMW Z4 or a Supra, or we're looking at, you know, um, I, I guess you could say Cayman, um, SLK. Those are, those are cars that are very fun but don't have nearly the amount of horsepower that the that, that V6 has in the F-Type, um, nor the drama, the sheer drama that comes out of the exhaust of that V6. I mean, uh, and, and not to mention the value you get when you buy that car, whether it's new or used, you can retain quite a bit with that V6. So this car is a bargain at, at the price you get into it and the drama you get out of it. And so that easily deserves the fifth and final number as why you should get this Jaguar F-Type R. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I know a lot of you guys are watching, not subscribing. It really helps me out and I hope to see you guys in the very next video. Have a good one, be safe, have a good one.